What's up, my beautiful people? I got something special for you today. We caught a bunch of fish, courtesy of everybody on the boat, and uh, we're gonna clean them for you because I, it's very rare that I have this many different kinds of fish. So every fish is a little bit different in how you clean and prepare it. And uh, I wanna show you guys how to clean and, and prepare all these different kinds. So we got, this is our buddy, the yellowfin tuna. This is just a baby one. It's a beautiful fish though. Uh, this is Richard. He's been buddy boating with me for a couple months and he uh, went out and caught that fish in like 10 minutes. How did you do that? It's fish. Fishing. You're it's a fishing. You're a fish master. Fishing. It's called fish. Well, well said, sir. Um, this is a little doggy tuna. So to clean and prepare the little ones is different than the big ones. Here's a big one. That's a great, great fish. This is one of the best tasting fish in the water. There's a huge pompano, look out. This is gonna feed your whole family. <laughs> Courtesy of the, the cameraman, Julian. You better be careful with this one. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, the biggest one we have today is a blue jack. This is a big fish. Very good fish as well. Um, this one has tougher white meat, flaky white meat, flaky white meat. Obviously everybody knows what tuna is, red meat. Um, very, very delicious. And then this one has white meat as well. Not, not very much. I mean, so much of it. A little bit. <laughs> All right. So the tools we're going to be using today are the craw. This was a gift from Plucky, my buddy Plucky over at uh, Sailing Into Freedom. If you, have, if you haven't seen his channel, go and check him out. He's the crazy Aussie. He gave me this for Christmas. And it's a piece of angle iron like bent into a weapon of torture. And what you do is you use this to clean, to scale the fish. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. Fillet knife, nice bendy one. And then a, a, hard, a hard knife, a little, this is just a little cheapy knife for getting through like some of these, some of these stronger fishes um, skin. Also, uh, I'm, I'm using my cutting board from um, Angela and Brian Downing. They, they gave me a custom cutting board at the boat show, like with my logo on it and it says, thanks for all the knowledge and experience you share with us all. So this video is dedicated to them. Okay. Some knowledge and experience for you. This is an awesome gift, man. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's get started. Oh, and our, our trusty blue, blue bucket, baby blue bucket. So this, the fish are in the sun, so we're just going to give them a little water. You want to make sure that um, your fish don't sit in the sun too long. And saltwater fish, wash with salt water. Freshwater fish, wash with fresh water. The, if you use freshwater fish on a saltwater, if you use fresh water on a saltwater fish, it will burn their skin and discolor them and um, make, the, make the fish tough. It, make the, it'll make the fish tough. It's, it's just not good for them. All right. Why don't you sit over here so you can get a little closer? And I'll what, do, what do you guys want to start with? Mm -hmm. You guys vote. What do you want to start with? Tuna, blue jack, dog tooth snapper. Let me see it. Let me see that real quick. Well, you, you forgot about the pompano. <laughs> oh, and the pompano. Sorry. Yeah, uh, you, you can't forget the pompano. Oh, don't forget about. The All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, say hi to some of you guys here. There's 50 of you here. Thanks. Dano is here, what's up? Morpheus is here, what's up dude? The eye catcher, hello, waves hello, well hello. P-Bear is here, what's up man, how you doing? That tuna looks like a skipjack, that's a, that's a tuna. Afternoon Graham, a video on how to clean and prep fish, great, hold on, I think this is the paint is starting to dry, I'm gonna watch that instead. Oh, that's kind of rude, tea side stew, yeah, you're, <laughs> All right, sweet. Hola, Carlos, what's up, dude? Okay, I got two votes for the tuna. All right, we're gonna start with the tuna. All right, all right, guys, tuna first. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this quick so that stew guy is happy. I don't mess around, I've done this a lot of, a lot of times, so I'm gonna do this quick, so pay attention. Skipjack tuna has longer tuna stripes and doesn't have yellow. Longer what in the stripes? Longitudinal stripes that way. So a skipjack has longitudinal stripes and it doesn't have yellow in the fins here. So 
So that's the difference between a skipjack and a yellowfin. This is a yellowfin tuna. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and clean it because I don't want any of the stomach to get into the meat of the tuna. This one I'm gonna make, up, make into um, probably sushi. Probably sushi. Open up his belly, grab all his innards, throw them away, okay? This can go too, this is his heart. That's the fish's heart there. You can take a bite out of that. Yeah. Just eat the whole thing. Cool. I wanted some. Oh, you wanted some? No, no. It's Hold on a sec. It's okay. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. It's nice, man. Great irony. Okay. Tuna is very, very easy to clean. You start here, you go right along the, the bone ridge. You start on the other side. Right, right along the bone ridge again. try to maximize the, the amount of meat that we get out of it. So cut along the head. Now the tuna belly is actually the prized part in, in Japan. This is what this piece is what they make really expensive sushi out of. And uh, and sushi and sashimi, but we're not gonna use that part today because it's a small fish. All right. Boom. One. Go right behind the, the fin. Right up to underneath the mouth. Here. This this fish has, has meat all the way up to the front of his head. This this is still a little bit of meat here. Right here. See it? Cut along the Fin line. Well, look at that pink meat. This looks good, man. This looks like a good fish. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to get all the all the meat off of the um, second side. But just try it, just try a couple times. You can do it. Wow, this fish is like falling apart, dude. Yeah, it's so fat. It's a fat little guy. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Wow. Look at how fat that fish is. It is a beautiful fish. All right. This will be for fish head soup, okay? really quickly now that we have the so this one I did a good job on this one did, I did a, I did kind of a shitty job on but you can see the difference let's use the one that I did a good job on just so I can show you guys how to clean the bloodline out so big fat back part of the fish belly part of the fish this is where all the organs are and most fish are the same you can take the bones here Kind of just slice the bones off. 
and try to save as much of that belly meat as you can. You see that? This, this is unedible. So we got all that like visceral fat off of there. Now I like to take this part first and try to cut right along the bloodline. And right along, there's a, there's a line of bones here going down the center of the fish. So the, the fish has, as it's swimming along, here's the top, here's the bottom, here's the, here's the um, organs. It's got one, one bone line that goes through the center of the fish. So you just split that bone line. And then with, with tuna, you just cut off the, uh, the blood line. So you kind of push on the fish, make it a little fat, and then cut off the blood line. Wow, this, this fish is so fatty. Look at this, man. Look at how beautiful this is. You guys want to taste this? Okay. Let me just take the skin off. To get the skin off, almost all fish is really easy. You just put your hand on the, on the skin, grab it. What's that? It's not a good skinning knife. No. It's too soft. It's too windy. It's all good, I'll get it. So you just pull the skin off like that. And I don't even know if I need a knife to take the skin off this fish. This is crazy. Super fatty, super nice tuna. Fish family dish. Oh man, that's good. Thank you. Would you guys like some sashimi? They're all tired. They're all tired. It's pretty good. Very tasty. You like it, Rich? Melt in your mouth. Okay, so wow. that's a finished slab of fish. You just got to cut off, like you know, the, this this little black part. On the other side, we just cut off the bones. Check it out for any bones, any 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 bloodline that you missed. Clean up the bloodline, especially if you're gonna make sushi out of it. Get, get all that blood out of there. Get all this blood out too. No one likes that part. Well, some people actually eat it. In uh, in Hawaii, they sell it at the supermarket. Just the blood. It's super cheap and it's nasty. I'm just going to fill this with water. Okay, so that's our tuna. I'm going to show you the small snapper next. Um, snapper these size, you want to you want to scale them and slice them and grill them. This is this is the best way to eat these fish. So if you get your snapper.
This is the perfect size fish to take the gills out. So you just tear this, tear that, grab the, grab the, all, the whole gill here, pull the gills out, and it pulls all of the guts out too. See that? That's everything. Okay, now we rinse it off. And we go to town with the, the craw. This should be in slow motion. This is the best scaler ever. And yes, it's easier to scale them if you don't gut them first. You gotta be careful if you have a craw right here. You can severely damage yourself. Okay, you gotta get all the scales off because this is what people are gonna eat. You can eat the skin on these fish. You can't eat the scales. And the scales, if you end up putting some of this stuff in like soup or something like that, the scales get all over the soup. Good, you can't get them out. So make sure you get this little piece behind the fins and underneath. Get all the scales off. Thank you, Plucky. Sailing into freedom. Good job, buddy. Much love. You're the man. I hope you're watching. Alrighty. A little bit here. You see how you can dig into this and start ripping the skin? Don't do that. This is a little overkill for this fish. This claw is made for fishes like that. When fishes is a word, I just made it up. You need a baby claw. You can finish up with a knife just to make sure you got everything. Oh, see, there's some innards. Okay, so now we have the cleaned fish, scaled fish. So now we're going to prepare it for grilling. So I like to, I like to just give it little slices. Yeah, and then and now you can you can open it up and you can put in all your spices and stuff and. Uh, the best way that I prepare these things is I make a little bit of uh, olive oil, some adobo seasoning or some like green fish seasoning and some garlic. And I put that all in and some salt, lots of salt. And I put that all in the thing and then I just grill it and I baste that stuff on. Grill it, baste that stuff on. It's, it's the best. This is good fish. I'm hungry now. Okay, let's, let's see the difference between the big brother fish on how, how we clean that one. This fish is too big to grill. If you try to grill this fish, it'll be burnt on the outside. Or I guess that's the gills and the lungs then. Stomach is over here. Okay, got all of it. Now we're gonna clean it. Okay, so this is how I deal with a big fish. Um, we're just gonna right away take these these um, wings off. So wings. All right. Scale it. Oh, I should have scaled it before I took the wings off. Oops. Well, I'll do that later. Scale it first. Yeah, this is what this thing's for. Oh, shit. So we're on anchor in uh, about nine miles offshore, and 
but I'm coming at you guys through Starling. I really like having Starling. Um, the marine changes that they made to it kind of suck because you, you use up 50 gigabytes pretty fast and then you don't get it out to sea anymore. So that, I'm just dealing with that now. That sucks. But as far as like close to land, it's great. Look at this guy. I'm only gonna do half this fish on camera for you guys so we can work on the other ones. Because this would be like a two hour live stream if I got all of it done. It takes a while to clean fish correctly. It's kind of a tedious. I like it though, I like doing it. It's not bad, especially, I mean, I speared this guy. He's my fish that I caught. I wanna make sure that I get all the, all the meat I can off of him. And, you know, not to get too esoteric, but respect his life, I killed him. So I'm gonna eat him and I'm gonna make sure I don't waste him. And that's kind of the code that, um, that spear fishermen have, you know? Yeah. Which is crazy that, you don't have that with everything. You should always respect what you kill. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna, man, this, this is, I can tell this is gonna be so good. Same thing, you just go next to the bloodline. Most of you guys probably know how to actually do this part. We're just gonna kind of cut the fillet off. Gonna... Yeah, this is very good ceviche. Super good ceviche. This makes good ceviche. That jack makes good ceviche. This makes good ceviche too. Pompano. But you need a lot of them. You got. You need a lot of them. Yeah, you got to kill like twenty of them. It's, it's, it feels. It always feels weird to me to kill like twenty sentient beings for lunch. I mean, I know that. Humans are apex predators, but come on. <laughs> this guy's got some weird bones right here. See it sticking out here? Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. So look at this fillet. It looks a lot like the tuna fillet. There's the back piece, there's the bones in the center, there's the rib cage, and there's the belly meat. When you clean a fish, you're striving for a very, very clean carcass. You can grill that carcass later. You can, you can grill this just like this and put, you know, slather your stuff on it and grill it and just eat it. I mean, if you watch Plucky and me do it, it we, we that's the, the best part. The stuff closest to the bone and closest to the fins is really fatty and it tastes so good. Not a lot of people eat this part. You should, it's good. And then some people from New Zealand eat the fins. Are you kidding? Are you, you're kidding me, right? You don't eat the fins. Oh, that's right. I wasn't going to do this on camera. That's right. So the wings and the head and uh, Sometimes like uh, the carcass, I'll break the carcass up into, into pieces. After I get this fillet off, I'll just break the carcass into pieces. I'll, I'll throw away the, the tail. I'll throw away the, 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 the fin here. And then I'll just break the carcass up into big pieces, sections, and then put that into the soup pot. And then I'll, I'll put that in a big bag. It'll just have these, the, the carcass broken up in the head. And then when we're, we're out of fish, that's a perfect bag to make fish head soup with. 
And if you'd like the recipe, I got it. Maybe I'll do that as a video. Okay, so now we've shown you the big snapper versus the little snapper, the tuna. <laughs> Let's do this giant pompano. All right. So these fish get maybe twice this big. That's about as big as they get. Um, they're very, very good fish, but you gotta kill a lot of them to get anything. They're very, very good ceviche. These ones, I'm not even gonna gut because it's not even worth it. So let's hope I have a sharp enough knife not to mess this up. This fish doesn't have scales. So you just kind of cut, cut, cut. We're gonna cut all the way along. Th this cut can extend all the way down because now I don't have to gut him. And the only thing I'm losing out on is just a little bit of meat right here. That, and that's almost, it's like one little bite of meat. And, and, and the fins. <laughs> the, the kiwis are crazy. If, anybody, if anybody's friends with any kiwis, watch out. Speaking of kiwis, that dinghy's made in New Zealand. What do you think of my dinghy? Best thing you ever, right? Best thing you ever, man. Yeah. Thing you ever. yeah. I agree. Big, big props to OC Tenders, guys. That's the one of the one of the best things I have on this boat. Um, the dinghy, OC Tender dinghy, the Dakota Lithium batteries, um, the the solar arch and the, and the the solar panels are nice. So this is the this is the fillet when you get done. Okay, super tiny little fillet. It's got tiny little bones in it. You can actually just cook it up just like that. You want to take the, the skin off it though. The skin is a little difficult to get off of these fish, but I'll, I'll give her a go. Hey, hey, look at that. That's not bad. I just got a little bit of waste right there. So look at that. I, I wasted hardly any of this fish. And th these, these fillets, you can just dice up, you can bread and fry them. They're really good bread and fried. I've, I've had them raw in sushi and in, sashi in um, ceviche. Very good fish. Okay, I'll do the other half of that in a minute. Now let's get on to the big boy. Big, huge fish like this. You need two knives. I'm gonna get this fish away. This is great fish. Jack is, there, there's a bunch of different kinds of these fish. There's Jack, Jack Trevally are not good fish, right? He caught one the other day and he's like, I don't believe you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch it and, and cook it. And I'm like, bro, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> and what it tastes like. Shit. <laughs> it tastes like beef. It smells like beef. It's, it smells like beef's better. Yeah, beef's better. Okay. This, let's gut this guy. How's this one different from the other one? Uh, this, is, this is a lot tougher white meat. I'll show you in a minute. See, you can already see that the meat is white, but the meat is a lot tougher. You can use this fish as like. Um, in pasta it won't fall apart if you make pasta sauce if you want fish pasta sauce which is not not too bad oh my god Ugh. this is a male fish you can tell because he's got this is his sperm here so that's what he uses to fertilize the females with look at look at this there's we're gonna we're gonna look inside this one and see what's in his stomach Crazy. He ate a big fish. This is a... A meal? No. No, that's just a big, long fish. Yeah. Wow, that was... This guy was full. <laughs> he couldn't eat anymore. Okay. More of his fertilization tool. Knife. I would have dove in for it. 
Okay, we're gonna use this knife, the hard knife, to cut around because this is a bit harder fish. The skin is harder. And as they get older, they get even more tough outside. This, the meat on the inside is the same. These are very good, good fish. I like, I like these fish. Oh man, these things are just crazy. Are you kidding? You see that? Okay, so much for that knife. Let's see if I can do it with this one. This is also like a cheap knife, a cheap crappy knife. You guys want a good gift for a sailor? Get him a knife. Get him a good knife. We always need knives. Got on the wrong side. Usually when you do that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look at this, look at this meat on this thing. It's a, it's a nice white meat, but it's uh, a little little tougher. It stays together when you cook it. See how white and nice this meat is? It's, it's, but it's tough, it's, it's, it's solid. So my favorite way to make this fish, if you guys get one of these, not much of a bloodline on this guy. That's it right here. I'm gonna make this one right now for the crew. Here's the skin. Mm -hmm. This one does have scales, but you don't have to scale it because you're just going to skin it. The best way to make this fish, spice it up and grill it, cut it into little, little pieces like, you know, like this thin, all, like long strips, like finger, finger food. Grill it so it's a little raw in the middle, and then put some aioli and dip it in aioli and just eat it. It's so good. It's like little chicken fingers that aren't breaded. They're not fried. They're just grilled and they're goodness, man. They're goodness. All right, that's all the fish. I'm going to get back to cleaning the rest of these fish. Let me wash my hands and I'll talk to the guys right there. Everybody, thank Julian for being our cameraman today. Sweet. Thank Richard for the tuna. And my crew for getting us here. Okay. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate that. Much love. All right. Let me let me say hi to a couple of you. P Bear is still here. Graham's still here. What's up, dude? Eye catcher's still here. Eye catcher's gonna get, if he ever catches up with James, he's gonna give him some real knives from Aussie. Yeah. These are all like cheap Chinese bullshit knives. Oh, look at that. Made in China. Um. Robert Laird is here. Robert Scranton is here. What's up, guys? Beautiful, Troy. Thank you guys all for, uh, for tuning in. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you another time. Peace, love, and uh, yeah, wish us luck. We're, we're leaving for Isla del Coco and Galapagos in a week. 
So the adventure is starting and continuing. I'm filming everything. Real videos are gonna come out soon. Peace, love.